In this session, let us learn about natural language processing. We human beings communicate with each other to share information. All of us need to know at least one language to communicate with one another. And it is important for us to read, write, speak and listen in that language. The human language that is spoken or written by the people is what we call as natural language. In India, we have a lot of languages like Hindi, English, Sanskrit, Telugu, Gujarati, Marathi, Bengali, Tamil, etc. Now, what is natural language processing? It is a subfield of artificial intelligence which enables the computers to understand and process these human languages which we call as natural languages. Artificial intelligence with respect to NLP is concerned with the interaction between computers and human languages. Specifically, how we are going to program computers to process and analyze the large amounts of natural language data. If we are speaking or if we are texting, there are a lot of words and a huge volume of text involved in this. So this domain focuses on how to process it and analyze it with the data. To understand how computers understand the language, let us play a game called Akinator. Now this game is based on machine learning that is a subset of artificial intelligence. Now this game attempts to determine what fictional character or real life character that we have in mind. So the first step when you click on play option is to choose a character, object or an animal in mind. Let me think of an animal. Suppose a cat. Okay. I'm going to choose this option animals. It initiates a series of questions with five different options. That is yes, no, don't know, probably and probably not. Now, the first question that I have here is, does your animal have paws? Yes, it does. Can your animal be found in the pet stores? Yes, definitely. Is your animal native to Scotland? No, it is not specific to any country. Does your animal bark? No. Does your animal meow? See, it's narrowing down to the searches. I say yes. Does your animal have a high spine? I say yes. Is your animal originally from Russia? No. Is it native to Norway? No. Is your animal a lagomorph? No, definitely not. Does your animal have three fingers? No. Is your animal found at midway at all? No. Does your animal eat mice? I'm choosing yes. Does your animal live in a glade? No. Is your animal the biggest in its environment? Definitely not. See, it predicted correctly that I'm thinking of a cat. So here, as you can see, it is narrowing down by classifying various categories and finally finding out whether the animal I have in mind is right or not. This is an example of natural language processing where text is the input. Now, once we play this game, Akinator, you are going to answer a few questions. Was the application able to guess the character that you had in mind? Here it was easy. It hardly took 15 to 16 questions to guess the character. So the next question, if yes, in how many questions? Around 15 questions. If not, then 
how many times did you try playing this game? Probably you can make n number of attempts in order to do this. The next question. What according to you is the task of the machine? We find that this is working based on natural language processing. It is trying to predict what character, what object or what animal a person has in mind by asking a series of questions. Were there any challenges that you faced while playing this game? So one uh, such challenge could be the vocabulary or the words that were getting used in playing this game. So that was one challenge probably if uh, a person is not great in his or her vocabulary, then they may have to search for the meanings in order to answer the question. Similarly, you can think of other challenges that you find while playing this game. What approach must one follow to win this game? Maybe think a character which is difficult to guess and then check whether this game is able to predict it correctly or not. Now with this introduction, let us learn some of the applications of natural language processing. The first application that we would be seeing is automatic summarization. The name sounds familiar, right? We are going to summarize something. Let us take an apt example. If I want to buy a book, I suppose, what do I do when I go to the bookstores? I generally look at the name or look out for my favorite author or sometimes I simply go through the back cover read the gist or essence of the book. So this way, I decide whether to buy a book or not. Now, automatic text summarization does this task for us. Where we have a lot of information available, it is very difficult for one to summarize the meaning or the gist of the information. So in this case, one can make use of automatic text summarization. Now this is relevant for summarizing the text and also understand what emotional meaning is conveyed within that information. It's very important for machine to understand what meaning is conveyed with that information. This provides an overview while avoiding redundant information, especially when you're collecting it from more than one source, you may find that some information is getting repeated. So that has to be avoided by placing the content once and thereby maximizing the diversity of content obtained. Now students, can you tell me some examples of automatic text summarization? We come across this with some news item or when we want to generate some headlines by understanding the context or a blog. So these three could be examples of automatic text summarization. Now let's move on to the second application of NLP and that is sentiment analysis. Now in sentiment analysis, the goal is to identify the sentiment among several posts or just one post where emotion is not always explicitly expressed. Suppose I want to buy a new smartphone. What do I do? I check for the rate and then I look out for reviews on the internet. Now when I'm looking out for reviews, I need to check whether there are a lot of positive reviews about it or there are a lot of negative reviews about it, or it is a neutral review. Now, how do you understand whether a review is positive, negative, or neutral? This is a task in front of the machine. Suppose you have a review which says, I love the new iPhone, and after a few lines, you come across this statement, but sometimes it doesn't work well. So this means, that a person is not satisfied with the working of a specific model, right? So this is a negative review. Now sentiment analysis 
helps in consolidating the reviews as positive, negative or neutral. Got it? So this identifies opinions and sentiments online and is extremely relevant in understanding and driving purchasing decisions. Now students, can you give me some examples of sentiment analysis? One is this, the review or the market research. We can also think of customer support analysis, right? We can also think of the social media monitoring, especially the tweets. One can easily make out with this sentiment analysis whether we have maximum number of positive tweets, negative tweets or neutral tweets. The third application that we are going to look for is the text classification. Now, when you have a lot of text, it is difficult to categorize into different categories. Artificial intelligence is going to help us in categorizing a document. So, you can assign predefined categories to a specific or multiple documents. So, this helps us to find the information that one needs or maybe to simplify certain activities. So what examples can we give here? The simple email filters. Now when you receive a mail, automatically certain mails are classified into different folders. Probably spam, an important mail, probably a personal mail. So you can create and segregate into different folders using text classification. Now the fourth application that we are going to learn today is virtual assistance. Now virtual assistants or voice assistants as we call has made our lives really easier. One can easily keep notes of our task. You just call the voice assistant and you start Taking notes so voice gets converted to text or you make calls. You call your Google assistant, call so and so, starts initiating a call. Send messages or if you want to open any application, call out your voice assistant and say open YouTube. It definitely does all these tasks very easily. A speech is getting recognized and it is going to make sense and execute the command easily. Now, can you name a few virtual assistants? We have Siri, Google Assistant, we have Cortana, even Amazon's Echo, which was earlier called Alexa, is a voice assistant. So, these are some of the applications that are given in your textbook. Other than this, also, we have some more applications like predictive searches. And then, Chatbot, which is a very, very common application of NLP. And the third one is your voice-based searches, which you find in Google, which you find in YouTube. So these are also applications of natural language processing. With this, we come to the end of this session. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.